Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna talk about how to quickly resize compositions and layers inside After Effects. There's a script that can do this automatically and it will save you some time. And if you're new here, we have over 200 videography related videos like gear reviews, camera and lighting how to's and editing tutorials. So subscribe if you wanna check those out. And if you wanna know the equipment, music, LUTs or motion graphics that we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. So let's jump in and talk about how to quickly resize compositions in After Effects. All right, let's say you've been working on an After Effects project, you have a composition, it's in HD, let's say, and you've basically finished the project, you have some text, maybe you've created some uh, solid layers or shape layers and you have some animations and the project is complete. You save the project and then decide later that you want it in 4K. So, of course, you could go to composition, settings, and you know change everything here, but it doesn't really change anything down in your composition. In After Effects, there's actually a script built in. You go to File, Scripts, and then down here you'll see Scale Composition. And then this small window will open up. You can go to uh, New Comp Width, and then change this to whatever width you would want it. So I'm doing 4K, so I will enter 3840, and then it will automatically change uh, the bottom based on your existing composition size so that it retains the aspect ratio. Hit scale, and then as you can see, it changed the composition first and then changed your layers and everything's back in place. Now, I should note that this will only work for continuously rasterizing layers in After Effects. And that means it'll be good for like shape layers or text layers. However, if you bring in footage or a picture, that would be uh, footage that you cannot scale without losing quality. So in that case, if you're changing your composition from HD to 4K, then uh, the media you have in your project will go from 100% to 200%. And obviously going from 100% to 200%, you're gonna have a drop in quality and it's not gonna look very good compared to continuously rasterizing layers in After Effects, which are basically vector based uh, layers. So technically the script has done what it is supposed to do. However, I like to go a step further and you'll see that if you go to a text layer and go into the scale properties, it's set to now 200%. Now again, because this layer is continuously rasterizing, that's not a problem. No matter how big you scale it, the text will still look very sharp. But for the sake of keeping this project consistent with how it was built, I prefer to change it back to 100 and then click on the layer and double the uh, size of the actual font. So this is 180, go to 360. And if you go to the shape layer, you'll see that the scale is set to 200 as well. However, there are no uh, settings for shape layers because they're essentially the size that you create them. And again, because they're continuously rasterizing, you don't really need to worry about this too much as again, same with the text, no matter how big you make them, it's still gonna look nice and sharp. And the last thing I'll mention is you have to run the script for every composition you have in the project, which just takes a couple extra seconds. Just wanted to break the video up here for a quick second to let you know that we have a ton of resources on our alleyandwill.com website, like our color grading Let's Pack or our Premiere Pro Motion Graphics Mogritz Pack that we use to speed up the editing process in most of our videos. We also have a business success ebook that I recently wrote for creatives and entrepreneurs that includes how we structure our business, make money, earn passive income, the apps, software, and subscriptions we use, as well as a ton of other resources and sales strategies for growing your business and landing clients. So if you're interested in any of these, they're on sale now at the alleyandwill.com website or through the link in the description. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 200 other videos that you can learn from, like gear reviews, camera and lighting how-tos, and video editing tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.